Hey guys, how's it going? So my friend's uh, got his DR650 here for a bit of maintenance and I thought I'd do a little short video of some of the different mods that he has compared to me. Compare them together just so some of you guys that may have just got a DR650 can make their choice and maybe what they want. So the first thing I thought I'd mention is this one. My bike has a 20 litre Acherby's tank. This one has a 25 litre Acherby's tank. And so what I thought I'd do is I'll just uh, give you some angles, the size, how they look, and then uh, we'll move on to the next uh, part. Okay, so I hope this comes out on video properly, but if there's a 20 litre and how wide it is. There's 25. If you see the difference, it's quite a bit actually. It's quite surprising to be honest. So anyway, we'll get a side view, and then uh, we'll look at something else. Okay, so as most of you guys know, I have a small garage, so I'll do the best I can. It's raining outside. But there's the 25 litre closest to us, and there's the 20 from a side view. So if we come around, you can see it's quite a big difference. And I'm sure the Safari tank, or the IMS tank, are completely different also anyways next thing so what we have here is a BMB bash plate on the left and then a Cherby's plastic bash plate on the right a lot of people are concerned about the plastic one not being strong enough but believe me it's a good bash plate but as you can see the cosmetics is quite a bit different the plastics very thick on the Cherby's if it doesn't flex like you think it does, it's very strong. And I've had no problems with the, the BMB one. Moving on to the bars. On the left we have Pro Taper YZ High, and the right we have Renthal RC High Bends. Green has risers. We'll do a little measurement and see if they're the same width. So here we have the BMB Fender Eliminator Kit and the factory Suzuki Fender. So depending if you care or not to change it, that is the difference. Moving on to the seats. I still have the horrible stock seat, as you can see. And I'm pretty sure this is the Seat Concepts commuter. Seat Concepts, yep. Anyways, as most of you probably know, the stock one is about 200 wide and if you come over here to this one at the widest point you're looking at 350 which is a, <laughs> it's a hell of a lot wider obviously there's uh, a few options for seat concepts so if you don't like this one you can always get the low or you can get the standard or the high so um, I'm pretty sure that one's the low one but correct me if I'm wrong but that's the difference anyway and actually I should really put the tape measure down and show you guys if it you might have to take my word for it I'm just gonna check see if I can feel any difference oh it's definitely it's definitely stiffer yeah not just saying that yeah it's much softer so um yeah take my word for that you probably can't tell on camera but uh this is a lot harder than the seat concepts and it is comfier so yeah depending on what you prefer all right guys nice and short video last thing these are the stock mirrors here right next to the double take mirrors you can see the uh, they're not too different in size it looks like it on camera but they're really not these give me a much better field of view with a longer arm here etc 
but in saying that they do vibrate slightly more so there you go guys thanks for watching thanks for being patient till next time catch you later